And I guess, how would you define your success to date and your success that you hope to achieve in the next time, in the coming years, in financial terms or otherwise? So, I love big, lofty sort of uh, goals and stuff. So, for me, it's just like I said to myself, um, and I like, so from university, I always tell people that, okay, for me, success means $100 million. And they used to laugh. They're like, ha ha, yeah, sure, Jason. I'm sure you'll do it. Um, and, you know, you make the first few million, and you're like, well, shit, he's doing something. So for me, like, all of my decision making is based on $100 million. So $100,000 doesn't really phase me because I'm thinking of, like, my task is to get to $100 million in, in like, something, right? So, um, that, that is my big sort of, you know, uber confident, hairy goal that I, I, I just tell everyone that's my, I, I put it online, like, I want to make $100 million, mm -hmm. that's it. Um, whether I make that enough for me is basically relevant, but that's like, that's kind of how I structure my, my mind in terms of what I get involved with, what I do, how aggressive I am, mm -hmm. um, and how I look to the future in terms of uh, defining success in business. And I think success in business basically comes down to like numbers. Um, you can do social enterprise and all that like, hippie stuff, and you know, I think some people want to do that. For me, it's, I want to be successful in business. If you ask me how did you make your hundred million dollars, I'll be able to say, look, this is what I did, this is what I've done, this is what I've done. And if I can have like a, if I can have like a massive impact um, on Nigeria or in Nigeria in doing so, then brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay.